Hello and welcome to my video on uh, GCSE Biology calculating cell size. So we're going to be looking at how you calculate magnification, the size of the image and the size of the real object. Also just a reminder that um, for the whole of the GCSE 10% uh, of the marks come from doing uh, math skills. So this is one of your math skills that you'll need to master. For the exam. So here we have uh, what I call the magnification triangle. Um, as you can see it says IMA. The way I remember it is the I am triangle. Okay and I'll talk about what I mean by I am. Right so um, if you want to calculate the size of an object under the microscope you have to use um, the basic calculation, and it's calculated using the formula magnification equals the image divided by the actual size. Okay, so magnification is image divided by actual size. So to work out magnification, you would take the image size divided by the real um, object, size of the real object, the actual size, okay, in that one. Also, if you wanted to find the image size, okay, you would need to then take the magnification and times it by the size of the real object. And then lastly, if you wanted to find the actual size, then it would be the image size divided by the magnification. One way that I do it is kind of, um, for example, if I wanted to find magnification, I, I put my finger over it, okay? So if I just put my finger over it, so I'm going to put my finger over it, okay? And I, and I know that it's then that divided by that, okay? And that's the way that I work it out. Before I show you some examples of uh, different types of cell and uh, how to work out the calculations, we first of all need to look at um, the conversion factors. The, the first thing to say is that you will be me if you'll be measuring a cell, you're going to be measuring the cell with millimeters on your ruler. Now, sometimes the answers will require you to um, give your answer in micrometers or even nanometers, but usually it's uh, in micrometers. So, for example, if you um, had a measurement of five millimeters, okay, to convert it to micrometers, you times it by a thousand, and that will give you five thousand micrometers. And if I wanted to convert 5,000 micrometers back into millimeters, then I would take 5,000 micrometers and divide it by 1,000, and that equals 5 millimeters. So here's um, an example. Um, what I'd like you to do is to pause the YouTube clip now and um, see if you can work these out. And here are the answers. Just a quick reminder about um, standard form. Okay, so um, I intend to do a video about standard form, uh, but very, very quickly, um, we know that one millimeter, okay, equals one times ten to the minus three meters. So one micrometer equals one times ten to the minus six meters, and one nanometer equals one times ten to the minus nine meters. Okay, so now we're ready to have a go at uh, a couple of examples. Now when you're measuring um, the image size, you, you always use a ruler, okay? Um, and it's essential, as it says here, that you use the same unit 
Here's the first question. So a cell is five micrometers wide. It says calculate the magnification of the animal cell. Well, the first thing I would do is to remind myself of the calculation that I require. So I'm going to do um, my magnification. So there, I'm going to do it as I am. So in terms of working out which one it is, well, if I want to find um, M, magnification, then it's going to be I divided by A. So we're already told the actual size um, of the object, which is 5 micrometers. So we've got to work out now the um, image size. So we look over to the diagram you can see I've placed my ruler down there okay and I've got um, from 0 all the way up to 16 centimeters now to make it a bit easier I'm going to convert that into millimeters first of all so that's going to be 160 millimeters however I do need to convert that um, into uh, micrometers so that's going to be times a thousand. So that's going to equal 160,000. So I take 160,000 and I divide it by 5 micrometers and that will give me times 32,000, which is a whopping great magnification. And in reality, it wouldn't have been nowhere near that. But that's the answer from that question. So it's times 32,000. OK, in this question, um, they show you the image. They tell you the image. And this is a slightly different uh, format um, that they show you. So they tell you it's highly magnified. But this time, they're giving you a scale bar. OK, so the scale bar represents 0.1 millimetres and you can see it up above there. It says use a ruler to measure the length of the scale bar and then calculate the magnification from the figure above. OK, so let, let's first take the ruler, OK, place the ruler on there and you can see that it is 40 millimetres. Well, just to remind ourselves of the calculation that we want to do, I'm going to do my I am triangle. In this case, uh, I want to find magnification, so it's the image divided by the actual. So the image size is 40 millimeters that we've just measured with the ruler, and the actual size is 0 0.1 millimeters. So you take that and you, do, you place it into your calculator, um, and you will get the answer of 400. So it's times 400. Do that again. Times 400. There we go. Sometimes they'll give you questions where uh, they give you different steps. And they sometimes will give you the calculation to do as well, which is most helpful. It's really important to read the question carefully. Um, it does tell you several things, particularly its cheek cell, but more importantly, it's magnified 250 times. So it's telling you the magnification. Then tells you the width of the cell is, is by from D to E. Okay. Then it says calculate the width of the cheek cell in micrometers. It asks you to complete each step. So each step will get one mark. The first one is relatively easy because they want you to measure the width of the cell. So um, let's just move the ruler. Uh, it's not letting me do that. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to uh, measure the distance. The distance is um, 45 millimeters. It then says you use the equation to work out the real width of the cell. Well, luckily, we know the image size, which is 45, and we know the magnification, which is 250, as it tells you at the top. So that equals. 0.18 millimeters. And then convert millimeters to micrometers where you've got to times it by a thousand. So you times 0.18 by a thousand and you'll get the answer which is 180 micrometers.
This question uh, doesn't really ask us about uh, cell magnification as such, uh, but it is asking us to do a math skill. So it tells you a red blood cell is 8 micrometers in diameter, and then it says that a bacterial cell is 40 times smaller. So it says calculate the diameter of the bacterial cell. Well, it's quite a simple thing. You just take the 8, divide by 40, and that will give you the answer of 0 0.2 micrometers. I hope you found this video useful uh, in understanding um, how to calculate cell magnification. Um, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm going to be doing more revision um, videos in the future. Thank you.